hope you're doing well. This is a very spare of the moment type of video. I just got back from the mall and yeah, I bought some stuff and I thought I would just share with you guys, kind of do like a rambly vlog, maybe even not. I don't even know wh where this is going to go, but I took my little Fendi peekaboo with me. I love this so much. A lot of people have been asking me about how it's wearing and it's perfect. It's just, it's perfect. And it's smoothed out a little bit more. And um, I've actually been carrying a lot less than I normally do. Um, my wallet's out, but that's my wallet that goes in there too. Um, and I just was holding it handheld, which is kind of funny because you would think I'd wear it crossbody, but I was just worried about like transfer on the jeans. So I was just like literally holding it like a little lady bag today. Um, I bought a lot. <sighs> I did not need to buy a lot. But I went to Sawgrass Mills, if you guys are familiar with that massive outlet in Florida. It is humongous, ridiculous. And today it was the tax-free thing going on. Um, but it's only over $100, and what can you buy for less than $100? Well, I mean, you can, but the stuff that I like is never less than $100. So I think I only got one thing tax-free. So I think I might have saved myself a couple of dollars, but. Um, I mean, whatever, it's fine. So let's start with just like the bits. I've been on a shoe kick. I'm not even a shoe person. I, I should show you the other shoes that I've bought in the past, but maybe I'll show you one more because I can't show you all of them. But for some reason, I've just been buying shoes and I need more clothes and I want a bag. I'm a bag girl. So it's just kind of like funny. That sounded like bad girl. I'm a bag girl. So, um... Yeah, it was just really weird to um, purchase all these shoes. And, you know, I haven't bought silly shoes. These are all great shoes. But at the same time, it's like, Arizu, how many shoes do I need for a short-term stay here? Second of all, I had to buy a second su suitcase. I came with one. I definitely need a second one. Um, <laughs> the second one's just going to be for shoes? I don't know. i kind of freaking out. Um but I don't want to return any of them. I was kind of like, well, I can just return that one and, you know, keep a little bit more money in my bank. But at the same time, they're so good that I just don't want to. Oh, I'm terrible. Anyway, let's see. Uh, yeah, clearly I'm in a weird mood today. Uh, let me see. I'll just go bring, like, the one other shoe that I think is worth showing that you would have seen in, like, an Instagram photo. I'm not showing everything, um all the shoes I bought because that would be ridiculous but mind you I came with one trainers and one flat okay so um and some Havianas so that's all I came with so um I bought these in TJ Maxx and these are so good these are so comfortable they're House of Harlow and I think I only paid like 40 something odd dollars and they're just really really pretty and I've worn them all the time and they just work in Miami because you know they're open toe they're kind of sandly they look really really cute with dresses and um, skinny jeans white jeans just I've had really good fun with them and they even look cute with shorts um, these were these were ugh, so worth it so so worth it then I um, went to North Shore Rack and got some Stuart Weitzman and these ones are called jean the jean sandals and this is in tinsel silk and i love these oh i should have put these on better um they look like this and i haven't worn them yet but i think they're beautiful and i can't remember how much they are but i think they're about a hundred or something dollars um which is a bargain um, but the platform is really nice. They're just so comfortable. And I just love the colours and the gold threading. It reminds me of like a Barbie dress or a Christmas dress I once had back in the day. Um, and I just couldn't resist them because the jean shoes I know always get like five star ratings if you look online. Um, and I don't know. I just really love them. And being in Miami, I'm all about either all white or colours. Absolute bright colours, which... I guess for true Miamians, they're probably like, oh, that's so typical, but I just, I can't help it, you know, I love it. I'm from England, so summer every day is kind of cool. Um, so those are back in the day that I got them. Um, today, however, well, let me talk about this as well, because this was so good. I bought this Henry Bendel backpack, and I love it. It's just like a nylon-y backpack, 
and you can get it in pink or brown and basically it folds up I've got stuff in there but it folds up to like a little flat thing so you know like how you get those shopping bags that are drawstring or like zip around it's a backpack version and it's hold on, let me just take the stuff out so I can show you it is so worth it I took this because I went to the Everglades um, today with my friends and um, it was amazing it was just so so useful and it's not like a fancy fancy bag and you can put like your drinks and your snacks in there um, but basically yeah it um, folds up like this I'm trying to rush this video a little bit and I've got my hand sanitizer but you can kind of get the picture it's like this it's perfect so if you're ever going like on a school trip or you're going on holiday somewhere and you just want to carry a backpack with you you know and it's got like a really nice deep front pocket that I put stuff in so I've got like earbuds and like the lipstick but um I just really enjoyed this and I think this was like $30 and I think that's really worth it um yeah I really I love Henry Bendel I think it's very fun and I thought that was such a good buy I thought um it was well worth it and it was because I used I used it well then today oh god I bought so many shoes Okay, so I went to Saks off Fifth, and they had like what any girl could dream of, like Dior, Jimmy Choo's, Manolo's, Prada's, Gucci, Givenchy, Saint Laurent. They had everything for like sixty to seventy percent off. It was ridiculous, and I had to stop myself from spending like thousands there. The thing that I did buy was from Todd's. And um, I think this was pretty good and it's not a summer sandal, it is actually a boot. And I thought why not because you know obviously I live in England and I don't need any more summer sandals. So I bought one of these riding boots and it's all black suede and it is so comfortable and it has a really really good rubbery Todd sole. Um, and it was just well made, it's Todd's, I mean who can say no. So um, yeah, here's the other pair. And this was... $189 so I got 70% off because it's normally $630 so $630 plain black riding boots for a hundred you know hundred odd 180 189 sorry so I thought that was well worth it I mean you know I will make good use of this in England come autumn winter spring so this was a no-brainer I had to get them and they look nice on my uh, on my feet too um, size 37 and then um, went to Nordstrom Rack I'm really happy about this because these are my favorite pair of brand of shoes ever for flats um, the AGLs I love AGLs so much they're the most comfiest shoes in the world if you have not tried an AGL you have to like it is well well worth the money um, and go a size down um, so I'm actually I'm normally a size 37 European 37 so I get a 36 I can wear 36 and a half too but um 36 is fine so this is a really nice suede but it has like a sort of sheen to it too and then it's navy with the silver clasp um, buckle detail and this was such a steal this is normally $298 and I got them for $89 so 70% savings and um, this was tax free and I thought why not it's very beautiful colors things that I would always wear I love navy my favorite color and I got these and then lastly um, I went to Tory Burch and they had uh, buy a pair of shoes get an extra 20% off and if you bought two it was extra 25% off or something like that but I only bought one and these are the Tory Beige 281 Raleigh Ballet Patent, but they're not patent. Oh, it's the wrong box. Okay, well, anyway, let me see if I can find out for you. But it's these ones. Oh, it doesn't have a tag in it. But I bought these ones. I really like them. So they're similar to the Reva Flats, but the Reva Flats have the, like, sort of springy, sort of collapsed heel. This one's like a, a shoe, and it has, like, a sort of fake turn lock. Ooh, the glare. Uh, sort of turn lock look sorry about my nails are all chipped um, but they're a nice nude color I thought again really nice for work um, 
I would wear these to work, you know, no problem. And um, I just love this colour. I think it looks nice with my skin tone, very, very nude. And they just, you know, I like the black too. Blacks are always my favourite. But I just thought something a little bit more subdued, <laughs> you know, even though it's got the gold lock, um, it was nice. And these were, let me see if I can find you the price. Yeah. These were normally $175 on um, outlet price. I don't know how much they are normally. I think they're $250 actually. And then I got $35 off, so it made it to $140 plus tax, so $148. So, um, and obviously you get the dust bag too, which is very cute. Um, yeah, so that was my shoe haul. I really, you know, wish I could have got some like Pradas or Jimmy Choo's and stuff like that. And I could have, but where am I going to wear them right now? You know, that was the only thing. And I know I could save them for like a fancy date, but you know, I don't go on any fancy dates. I don't go anywhere in particular anymore, uh, which is kind of sad, but you know, and I just thought, okay, let's be practical. And I think I bought practical shoes, you know, like I went a little bit crazy here and there, like with the Stuart Weitzman wedges, but you know, they're really good, like heel wise, you know, they're comfortable, they're, you know, they're practical and I'll make good use of out of them in the summer. You know, same with my House of Harlow ones. I've worn them a ton. They're so good. My AGLs, I can just wear like, they're no brainer. And then my Todds, I need them. <laughs> so, you know, I, I think I did, I was pretty, you know, careful in my selection. I didn't just buy any hodgepodge. So yeah, that's it. That's all I bought. Um, I just thought I was going to buy a bag, to be honest. And then I really wanted to buy a David Yerman cuff because that's like on my wish list. But um, at the outlet, they didn't have any without diamonds and I didn't really want to wear a diamondy one. So I'm just trying to find out where I can find like a plain old Damon Yerman cuff. Um, so if anyone's selling one, let me know. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care, guys. Bye.